Hello muchachos! Are you wondering whether you should get a wired light or a wireless headlight for your loops? Stick around because I'm going to share with you my experience with both. last loops video I know that that had a lot of information in it but I'm so glad that it was helpful for so many of you going through the process and I got so many DMs and comments that let me know that you guys really found it helpful so if you guys still have any more questions about that feel free to DM me but today I wanted to make an even quicker video about lights because lights are a little bit less technical than the actual loops but it's still something important to consider so one of the things is you don't necessarily have to choose the same loops company that you got your loops from for your lights. So your lights can be mixed and matched and that's kind of what I did initially. I purchased a wired headlight and this is from a company that I don't want to mention because I actually want to talk about pros and cons. I basically got a wired headlight like this. And so this hooks on to the front part of your loops. One of the nice things as to why I went with a wired headlight in the beginning was because, first of all, I was gonna be in the sim lab. So I was using it a couple of times a week, not a full day in clinic or anything like that. And so, honestly, I wanted something that I didn't have to charge that often. Of course, I, not knowing that much, thought that this would be perfect because it's really not adding that much weight to the loops. And so they were great, honestly, in the beginning, but then <laughs> as you start sweating in practicals and you have like a lot of things going on, the wire really started to get in the middle. And in order for me to kind of hook this wire onto my loops, um, I use these little rubber band things that come with it, and that sort of solidifies how in place this kind of stays but these actually start kind of hurting against your ears i didn't really like that as the years went on also the little attachment head that comes with it lost a like a screw protector here that makes it more sturdy so this would constantly fall off my uh, loops there's also a little switch here and this while interesting it was very helpful because you could technically just tap like this on the side it's also something that got in the way because ran I would randomly, you know, just make motions and this would kind of turn off or if it ever turned on the underside, it would just hit against my head. So it would end up turning off my headlight even when I didn't want to. So one of the only great things that I found about the wired headlight was just how light it was and also the battery life. The battery life was great. I could go sometimes, you know, weeks without charging it because again, I wasn't in clinic full time. And so it was just something that I could forget about. If you were are in clinic full time, then it would probably last you something like a couple of days, but not necessarily a week. So those were the concerns with that light. It was nice battery life, weightless, but at the same time, it literally got in the way of everything. The little attachment things to keep it on were rubbing on my head, on my face. Sometimes it would just turn off by itself. And so in comes a wireless headlight. This time for the wireless headlight, I did go with Q-Optics. And I'm so glad that I did because one, my concern about it being too heavy or something that I wouldn't be able to handle, that was out the window. For what I know a battery can do, they did a pretty good job of making this not too heavy. And another thing that I love about it is just the range of motion of that light. So if you notice, this kind of just like moves so well. And what I found with my light was just like, yes, I could attach it, I could move it places, but it just felt because I had this issue with that screw kind of falling out, it just made things very, very difficult. So what's interesting is I spent my time in sim with a wired headlight. And now, since I've started clinic, I'm using a wireless headlight. And honestly, it's been such an incredible experience. It's my first time in a human's mouth, uh, first few weeks doing restorative, moving into doing a lot of different things. And this wireless light has been a godsend. I'm already sweating because of so much PPE because of COVID. Plus, I have a patient in my chair. Plus, I'm getting checks from doctors running around. I love the fact that I don't have to keep touching my wire. I love the fact that this is so easy to position. I love that it is just something that works so well right now with my current lifestyle. 
and my whole apprehension of not being able to charge it enough so I would always be kind of SOL not true um, this actually is something that motivates me so yes I do have to charge it more often I will say that is one of the cons I have to charge it way more than I did my battery pack um, that's wired but it's totally worth it every single day because honestly it gives me so much range of motion and a lot of people come up to me in the clinic and ask me hey how do you like the wireless light and I always tell them that I'm having a good experience with it obviously battery life is the only thing that I would say would be something to consider if you're thinking about one or the other. I started with the wired light and you know it fit me at the time and now I moved on to the wireless light so just Keep an eye out for what's important for you, what is your personality like, are you going to charge this, um, that's all really important. If you guys are looking for a wired one, Q-Optics has some great wired ones as well. Some of the nice things about wired ones as well is that sometimes they have a lot of different light settings. So think about the line of work that you're in as far as dentistry and how much you need your light to be versatile. Do you need to have different settings of light to prevent any kind of washout when you're, you know, color matching? So I hope that this was helpful. If you guys love it, go ahead and share it with a friend. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. If there's a topic you'd like for me to talk about, go ahead and send me a DM. If you don't want to miss another video, go ahead and hit the notification button so you'll never miss a video again. Thank you guys, and I will see you guys next time.